Hey, in today's video, I want us to talk about why we never feel satisfied. Having you throughout your life by now, always kind of felt a sense that like nothing's ever good enough. Or maybe in the past you had a goal and you achieved it. And once you got there, you realized it was never that big of a deal to begin with. Or maybe you did achieve that goal and it did bring you a great sense of happiness. Maybe even joy, but it was fleeting. And eventually you just naturally moved to the next thing. Why is that? First of all, I'm tempted to think that this is just human nature. I mean, if we as a species never wanted more, how would we improve? And of course, as individuals, we all have a different sense of what makes us feel satisfied or how much is enough. But I think as a species, it is inherent that we would just never feel satisfied entirely. And unfortunately, we're left to try to deal with that feeling and chase thing after thing in hopes that you will one day feel good enough or satisfied. And I mean, even if that is true, that still leaves you with having to deal with that feeling. So let's talk a little bit about that. If you're a millennial like me, there's a big chance that you grew up being told that you're gonna gain satisfaction from your career. I mean, most of us, since we were young, we're always constantly asked, what do you wanna be when you grow up? As if that is the ultimate goal as a human being, your job. And so we've been told our whole life that when you get that job, you're gonna be satisfied as a human being. But how many of you have chased a job just to get there and either feel like eh, or hate it, or once again, just feel a fleeting, momentary sense of happiness. But eventually you just came back to that middle state of wanting more. And I always get that sense that we will just never be satisfied through our jobs either because look at Jeff Bezos, it just, it's never enough. He was a millionaire, and then he had to break down businesses so that he could become a billionaire. Same thing with Elon Musk. He's not satisfied being the richest man on earth. He has to create new companies. It's just never enough. So even if you reach your passion or your true ideal career, these people are just left chasing more and more and more and more all the time. And the reason I was inspired to make this video is because last week, as I was making the fourth installment of Mark Soon Chill, Marx goes really into depth into detailing why your job within the system that currently exists, no job will ever satisfy you for many reasons, some of which are the fact that we have to work in order to survive makes us feel separate and alienated from what we create and the actual process of making the things that we do at work. For most of us, the things we make don't belong to us or don't have any connection to us, especially if you're doing menial tasks. Most people in our society have some kind of job that is like a small part of a long assembly line and you're left doing the same thing over and over again and you start to feel like a machine yourself. There are so many reasons why our job will never really truly satisfy us as humans and if you really want to go into depth about that subject i recommend you watch the last video i made which was about marks a strange labor but honestly for our generation do we even have an honest chance at everybody having a career that they like it's not looking like that a lot of people have service jobs and you know what there's nothing wrong with service jobs unfortunately as a society we have devalued the labor that's involved in that type of work. Of course, never mind the irony that in the past year, those types of jobs were declared essential, but I guess it's a totally different subject. But I guess the point I'm trying to make is that it's kind of a trap for us to expect that our job is going to make us feel fulfilled, satisfied as a human being. I'm not saying that no one will ever like their job. I'm sure there are many people that do their job with passion and love, but I think we're all been misguided in being told that we just have to find the job that makes you feel happy. Because I bet you anything that the day that my paintings ever support me, I will still be looking for the next thing or the next level of that thing. Because we go back to the first point in that human beings are never satisfied. But what really bothers me is like the emotional toll that that takes on so many people around the world that they feel less than because they don't have that career that they want to have and they probably feel like if i just had that or maybe they feel like even if they just knew what their passion was then they would have a chance of ever feeling fulfilled but in actuality no one's ever truly feeling fulfilled 100 percent of the time from anything that we do in life and i hope that doesn't sound even more depressing 
than the thoughts you probably originally had in your head but i guess my hope is just that we have a more healthy sense of expectations because if we don't expect to ever feel fulfilled from a career or a job then we can start looking for other ways in which to start feeling fulfilled or maybe even just feeling like a sense of understanding when you do feel unfulfilled and just knowing that it's not your fault it's just a natural occurrence in being a human being but speaking of looking for other things to fulfill you i think also misguidedly many of us look for things like partying drugs shopping distractions to try to feel better about whatever we're going through in life and of course under capitalism i think we've all understood by now that we've just been brainwashed into spending money left and right like you feel ugly here's some hair products you can buy here's some makeup here's some new clothes that are gonna make you feel great for a second so then you gotta go out and buy more stuff and i think that's why we saw so many people being unable to stop partying last year i mean still right now up to a certain point in our lives a lot of us that's all we know that's all we know about how to self soothe figuring out little ways in which we can change our mood i mean i do it myself all the time when i feel bored i go and try to find some ice cream in my fridge or let me see what i can shop online a lot of us unfortunately have these consumer lifestyle coping mechanisms that also don't ever give us a true sense of satisfaction as human beings the hard truth is that nothing outside ourselves will ever truly fulfill us but actually that's good news because that means that your happiness your fulfillment they're always within reach we just have been thinking about it incorrectly and of course i'm not referring to logical things like of course you gotta have a job to pay your rent and if you don't have that of course you're unhappy i'm just talking about that emptiness you feel inside that lack of satisfaction of even when you attain things that you want and i think this is why so many people find things like spiritualism or even religion they help you find ways to cope right like meditation prayer something like a gratitude practice they give you coping mechanisms that are more healthy than just go shopping <laughs> but the pitfall is that a lot of people that are unsatisfied with how things are going in in the world they go towards religion or spirituality and they abandon their desire to change the world i wasn't surprised that somebody like marianne williamson was ridiculed for wanting to run for president regardless of the valid criticisms that she has as a human being why wouldn't a spiritual person want to help the progress of society technically being a politician is supposed to be about helping to keep society moving forward and just working correctly so why wouldn't a spiritual person want to do that i think we need to marry the, all of those things together i honestly don't have much of a solution for you in this video because i think it is inevitable that from time to time we feel unsatisfied as human beings and of course it has to be an individual journey for all of us to find healthy coping mechanisms through that but i guess i just wanted to have a quick chat with you today about this topic because of course we had just had a terrible year and it feels like it just keeps going and probably a lot of you are feeling like i'm feeling like you couldn't go after your goals and this thing is still going and how are you ever going to come to a better place in your life but once we reach those goals that we had for ourselves we're still going to end up on that unsatisfied feeling and we've all just kind of been left to drown in those feelings or hopefully climb out of that and find your own sense of fulfillment as a human being that doesn't depend on those outside factors let me know what you thought about this topic today like i said i'm sorry that i don't have some kind of like grand solution for this just something i had on my mind and i wanted to share with you so you know you're not the only one feeling like you know ugh. but thank you for watching if you still are subscribe if you like to continue talking about world domination i'll see you in the next one